This, this added on quite a bit to the price, this particular one. So this is their newest of the new electric brush. Yeah, that's, that's, that's substantial. Wow. My wife is just gonna give it a run using this new high torque brush. Our understanding is that when you first run it, it runs in auto. You could then switch to economy or boost. We're just gonna run it in auto and see if any of that auto sensing capability works. So, uh, Steffi, just give it a go. And there... It doesn't roll. What? Looks like a piece of our high torque brush arrived pre-broken. You can see these pieces right here. I don't know how that happened. I think it's brand new, but it looks like it's broken into several pieces. So now I have to take this back. Lovely. I got to tell you so far, I am not overly impressed with this. Since the store I just purchased this from can't replace this piece, we're gonna have to pack up this whole unit, bring it back and get a whole new vacuum cleaner. We've come back from Lowe's, got another box, another one, stuck little pieces and sure enough this one is broken too this was at another store right so this the motor spins fine but this piece is cracked what are the chances of getting two of these and both of them are broken i don't understand this i think the big question is at this point after buying two of these if i were to get lucky and get a third one that isn't broken how long is it going to be before this thing breaks because clearly this right here is a weak link this is a problem I'm gonna tell you the folks here were really nice on the phone. They acknowledge this problem, they know about this problem, and they're happy to send out a replacement unit free of charge, two day delivery with an upgraded part. So I'm gonna show you, uh, if you are interested, how to get this running again. But if it's under warranty, call up, give them your serial number for your unit and just get a replacement that is not going to break because like I said, it's available to you. Since they're gonna send you a replacement, if you wanna have a second one, that'll work. And it may be difficult if you haven't pulled the brush out to slide it out, you know, you're gonna to have to grab onto it. Sometimes it gets stuck, but if you're able to pull it out, you get that brush out of the way. There's nothing wrong with this unit and just go off to the side. The effective piece is right here, it's, it's this ring. It's broken in several places and it's useless. The end of this shaft sits right here on this plastic silicon-like ring. It's the piece that you tighten down with the quarter or whatever that secures the depth. See, it just pulled out a piece. It becomes difficult as you have more than half of it removed because it falls to the bottom. You have to turn it over and give it a shake, get it to slide down, and then you could work with what's remaining. There we go. I can see one piece remains under there. So funny thing about this piece, it's recyclable. It makes you wonder if it's garbage. Now, I imagine it's not. They wouldn't put garbage in this unit, but it, I, I, I do see the humor in that. With that piece removed, we'll have a quick inspection of the unit again. Make sure any little bits are gone. Everything seems fine. Put the roller right back in. We're going to observe where the flat is right here. Then we'll take a quarter. Lock it back. Spins perfectly, no problems whatsoever. Let's put it on the vacuum cleaner, give it a try. Here we go. So that fix works just fine. And I'll be getting a new head because this one is technically defective. So if that's your situation, that's what you should do get a replacement but you have an option also to fix the one that you have the boss lady will now be retesting the vacuum cleaner now that i've made the fix i will point out that this is the repaired head the new head has not arrived yet so Steffi, take it away automatically sped up right now we're seeing bring it up to the camera seen about 44 minutes of run time. And now we'll move to the carpet. I 
and we'll see in we'll drop down to about 17 and a half minutes. So we vacuum up that little section. We'll take a look at the basket. Wow. Everything collected on one side of the vacuum cleaner though, because this side is empty. So it looks like a lot more than it is. But yeah, it really pulled a lot out of the carpet. So now we're gonna be emptying the unit. My wife will not have to disconnect the attachment. The only time I'll document this on film is the emptying of the unit the first time. And there we go. From that perspective, yeah, really convenient that you just push the button, it all drops in the garbage, you tap it a couple times, you close it, and you also have access to the metal mesh screen up top to do the cleaning. So close it back up. Ready to go again. The new piece has arrived from Dyson, so we're gonna just open it up right quick and take a look. First quick observation, it spins just fine as I would hope. We're gonna pull the brush out. And we can see that there is a ring in here, just like the original one that we tore out, except this ring is not broken. And they did tell me that the part does belong in there, as I suspected, except they've upgraded the part so it doesn't crack. A quick look shows, I don't know, I can't really tell if the new one is wider than the old one if they used a different piece of plastic if it's the same part i couldn't tell you but this one's not broken so as long as it's not broken i really can't speak to it so i'm just going to say that the replacement one they sent is good if it breaks i'll make another video and discuss that but for right now we're okay We're gonna be moving to the car to try some of the other attachments of this vacuum cleaner. But this is just the uh, slim extension. She's just gonna vacuum up some of that in the corner there. It only auto adjusts with the torque brush. So she's gonna vacuum it up. It'll sit on auto, probably the medium position. Go ahead. It's a corner, it's a hard to reach areas. Let me see the indicator. Let's try out some other brushes. This is like the smaller uh, scoop with a little piece of felt on the bottom. Go ahead. Now set to the longer brush. None of these really pull the embedded dirt out though from the carpet. None of these really get that dug in dirt, right? Yet. Yet. We're gonna we're gonna we're moving on to different attachments. This is a this is a clunkier brush, but we're trying them all out. We're seeing what, what works best, so. Actually, this is not gonna work because it's too short. Okay, yeah, as it turns out, we really can't use this one without an extension. The whole unit's in the way. Yeah, okay. I'm hesitant to just try the motorized brush first on the interior of the brand new car. Uh, what I would like to do is we're just gonna give it a go first on the mat and see what it does, what the performance is. You mess up a mat, you could go out and buy a new mat. You mess up the interior of the car, it's a little harder to replace the carpet. Oh, that's a real fine job. Let's turn it around. It seems to be safe. It, it doesn't. It doesn't harm the carpet in any way. I really wanted to try this first and uh, make sure it was okay. So we're gonna try it in the car now. Easier to, to vacuum this mat for the demonstration if you leave it in the car so it doesn't move all around. Go ahead. <laughs> and we'll just come in close. Yeah, you know, a couple bits of sand, whatever. Only went in one direction, but it does the job. That one, that one seems to work really good on the carpets in the car to pull out all that sand and debris. Great as it is on the carpets, there's not a whole lot of room to work with this head when you're trying to get down in the footwell because it's just it's just too big. If there was like a, a small extension that could go on here, see, and, and was flexible and it went on an angle, that would probably assist in doing that. But as it sits, yeah, really can't get the corners with this. 
very quiet though. I could actually talk and do this movie as I demonstrate that. But you can hit the seat and then you hit the front and it's already going up like that. So I'm gonna go back to the long extension. So the whole car looks showroom new on the inside. It's not that old, but it looks not a speck of dust on the front. The whole back is done, seats are done, whole floor is clean. We've still got 22 minutes to spare, 23 minutes to spare in the vacuum cleaner. We're gonna try it in the back. I'm gonna give it a go with the electric brush and I'm gonna try it in an inconspicuous location. If it causes a problem, we're gonna to move to the non-electric. Seems to be okay. It's a very fluffy material, so my concern is that it doesn't pull those uh, hairs out, make it nappy, and wear it out prematurely. It's very gentle on it. With a non-electric brush, it's very hard to get stuff out of here because it, it grabs it like Velcro or all the dirt particles. Yeah, that makes a big difference. I did not know that. I'm learning something every day. Clean up the whole trunk, even with that hard to clean carpet. Work very nice between this head and this head to get the corners where it's hard to reach. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?